Welcome to Superhero Pow. I'm your host nerd, Tom Frumgen. Let's do something in the spirit of Halloween, as it's nearing that time of year again as I record this. I'll start by stating the obvious. All moviegoers love catchphrases. From the classics... He's looking at you, kid. There's no place in the Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. To the modern... You talking to me? You can't handle the truth! Go ahead. Make my day. They're all just little bits of dialogue that took on a life of their own. Because as all artists know, once you've shown your work to the world, it no longer belongs to you. It belongs to the world, and they will make of it what they will. Now, tying this back to Halloween, horror movies have some of the best quotes. Here's Johnny! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Game over, man! It's game over! I see dead people. And perhaps the greatest of all time... I'll be back. But let's go back to the classics, with the top five monster movie catchphrases. Starting with number five, from 1951. Watch the skies, everywhere. Keep looking. Keep watching the sky. From The Thing, From Another World. One of the very first alien, as an extraterrestrial, monster films. And that quote says it all, spoken by reporter Ned Scott after the personnel of an Arctic Army base had survived the attack of the space creature. While maybe not the most memorable quote, it wraps up the Cold War fears ingrained in the film with the alien outer space fascination slash craze of the 1950s. So people were watching the skies. The movie itself was directed by Christian Neve under the very watchful eye of Howard Hawk. It was his first film and arguably his best work. It was written by Charlie Lederer, again with help from Hawk, who has written a bunch of famous films like His Girl Friday, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Ocean's Eleven, the original that is, Today, The Thing from Another World is still a must-watch sci-fi monster film. Number four, from 1932. <laughs> he, he, he went for a little walk. <laughs> from the universal classic monster movie, The Original Mummy, starring Boris Karloff. The line of note is said by the archaeologist assistant, Ralph Norton, after he read the scroll of Toth, which brought the mummy to life, and then witness the 3,000-year-old Imhotep walk off into the night. And it really speaks to the horror of the film and to the concept of the undead, which, simply put, is, this should not be happening. One can only hope that Ralphie got some good therapy later. The story by Nina Wilcox Putterman and Richard Sayers is very loosely based on an Arthur Conan Doyle short story, The Ring of Toth, which is about an ancient Egyptian becoming immortal. But before he can share it with his lover, she dies, and then the man spends the rest of his life trying to end his immortality. The Mummy was directed by Carl Freud, a man known mostly as a cinema photographer. He worked on films like Metropolis and Key Largo, not to mention Dracula. To be fair, The Mummy isn't as strong as the other Universal Monster's first flicks, but it's still a great piece of classic film. Number three, from 1954. How psychologically messed up is that? It was all the poor traumatized Elson girl could say after her family was murdered by a horde of giant ants. Giving us the title of the movie as well, Them. It's so frickin' perfect, gripping, and horrific. Not to mention poetic. The movie isn't Earth versus the giant ants, it's frickin' Them, the first of the giant bug movies. The story was from George Worthington Yates, a Republic Pictures vet who worked mostly in sci-fi. He also gave us the Ray Harryhausen films, It Came From Beneath the Sea, and Earth vs. the Flying Saucers. It was directed by Gordon Douglas, who directed just about everything you can think of, from the great Gildersleeves movies to Call Me Boana, Stagecoach, In Like Flint, and They Call Me Mr. Tibbs. And Them is still a great cheesy 50s monster movie to watch today. Number two, from 1931. I never drink. Why? Spoken by Dracula, in Dracula, of course, played by the once great Bela Lugosi. 
The movie has another great quote with, Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. But the wine line really strikes to the heart and horror of the film. The line seems innocent enough, but is downright chilling when you understand the context of it, which is one of the best aspects of the film, the so-called phantom menace, if I may, of the film. The movie was written by Jarrett Fort and is, of course, a very stripped-down version of the famous Bram Stoker novel of the same name from 1897. Stoker wrote general fiction until the publishing of Dracula, which basically demanded he stick to horror from then on. Though sadly, the line is not from the book. The film was directed by Todd Browning, who had made many genre-type silent films, including the famously lost movie, London After Midnight, and the so-called talkie remake, Mark of the Vampire, which also starred Bell Lugosi. Any way you slice it, Dracula is a great piece of film history, and basically started the universal monster horror craze. Now for some honorable mentions, we have... From 1958's The Fly. And... From 1954's Godzilla or Gorgira, if you prefer. Before we hit number one, today's video is sponsored by Tomdra Studios' interactive book, Werewolf on the Town, by yours truly. Kids of all ages will enjoy this mischievous werewolf and his romp during a full moon. They will watch the adventure come alive with 20 animated pages, available on iPad, Amazon Fire, and any Android device. Simply search Werewolf on the Town wherever you buy apps. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Number one, and again from 1931. You knew it had to be number one. From Frankenstein, spoken by Frankenstein, after he brought his patchwork man thing to life. It's such a manic and cathartic thing for Dr. Frankenstein to say after the success of his so-called experiment. Not to mention, it's quite catchy, therefore making it the perfect movie catchphrase. Frankenstein is the movie that cemented Universal's fame of monster movies, with Boris Karloff just crushing it as the monster. The main story is by John L. Balderton and a host of other writers based on the stage adaption by Peggy Webling of Mary Shelley's brilliant novel Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus from 1818. Shelley didn't write much horror, but most of what she wrote was dark. Losing three children and a husband will do that to you. And no, the line does not come from the book. The movie is directed by James Whale, who had a fairly short Hollywood career, directing films for just over 10 years, including the sequel, Bride of Frankenstein, and The Invisible Man. But because of this movie, Frankenstein's monster became a part of the pop culture zeitgeist and is basically the definition of a classic monster movie. Well, there you are, the top five classic monster movie quotes. Which ones do you want to fight me over? Make sure to tell me in the comments, because seriously, that's the only way I'll realize how wrong I am. And thanks so much for killing time with me. And if you could be so kind to subscribe, I'll promise to kill more time with you later. I'd buy that for a dollar. Shut up, the show's over.